she was born to do this no weapon fashioned against us that shall be able to prosper and every tongue that shall rise against us in judgment yeah. the lord will condemn she has traveled far and wide to different parts of the world propagating the gospel of jesus christ romans 8 31 says what then shall we say of these things if god is for us who can be against us she is mandated by god to change in lives impacting generations and winning souls i decree and declare i stand as a generational evangelist ordained by god as an oracle as the devil comes in like a flood the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard in the name of jesus Reverend lucy natasha oracle of god she was born to do this as you are lifting your hands above your head i release fresh grace of prayer in this service i release fresh grace to intercede amen I release fresh grace for warfare. I receive. I want you to begin by praying this prayer point. Say, I pull down. Say after me. Say, I pull down. I pull down. All satanic altars. All satanic altars. Against my life and my family. Against my life and my family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, I pull down. I pull down. All satanic altars. All satanic altars. Against my destiny. Against my destiny. Against my progress. Against my progress. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pull down. I pull down. All satanic altars. All satanic altars. Against my prosperity. Against my prosperity. Against my settlement. Against my settlement. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pull down satanic altars. I pull down satanic altars. Against my success. Against my success. In the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody lift up your hand say I declare from tonight. I declare from tonight. Generational curses. Generational curses. Are coming to an end. Are coming to an end. In the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody say I stand on behalf of myself. I stand on behalf of myself. And my family. And my family. And I declare. And I declare. Every altar. Every altar. That is speaking against our lives. That is speaking against our lives. It's destroyed. It's destroyed. Altars of poverty. Altars of poverty. Altars of failure. Altars of failure. Altars of rejection. Altars of rejection. Altars of infirmity. Altars of infirmity. I command them catch fire. Catch fire. Altars of stagnation. Altars of stagnation. Catch fire. Catch fire. Somebody said tonight. Tonight. I invoke the blood of Jesus. I invoke the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak. Let the blood of Jesus begin to Somebody speak. Somebody say, Lord. Lord. Tonight. Tonight. Deliver my family. Deliver my family. From every evil altar. From every evil altar. In the name of Jesus. 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 Say, I take authority. I take authority. Over all curses. Over all curses. Issued against my life. Issued against my life. Against my family. Against my family. On evil altars. On evil altars. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every delayed blessing. Every delayed blessing. That should have happened in my life. That should have happened in my life. But it delayed. That it delayed. Because of evil altars. Because of evil altars. Be manifested tonight. Be manifested tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every delayed opportunity. Every delayed opportunity. That should have happened in my life. That should have happened in my life. But it delayed. But it delayed. Because of evil altars. Because of evil altars. Be manifested. Be manifested. Every open door. Every open door. That has delayed in my life. That has delayed in my life. Because of evil altars. Because of evil altars. Be open. 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 Somebody say tonight. Tonight. I release my family. I release my family. From the bondage of evil altars. From the bondage of evil altars. I release my family. I release my family. From evil altars. From evil altars. Open your mouth and begin to declare. And make sure the altars that are holding your family. As you are stretching those hands, those in this auditorium, and even those that are watching us live on Facebook, on YouTube, on Oracle One TV and from around the world. 
Everybody lifting your hands as a sign of surrender. As the priest of this altar, I take authority over all the curses that are issued against your life and your family. In the name of Jesus, there are some of you that your prayers were answered a long time, but nothing has manifested. And tonight I declare, every delayed blessing that should have happened in your life oh, yes. but it delayed because of evil altars yes tonight it is being released in the name of I jesus receive it. tonight i'm seeing restoration i receive it. i see restored businesses i receive it i see restored relationships i receive it i see restored finances i receive i see restored ministries i receive oh rabakados karabakadesh karabakados yes I speak to the north, I speak to the east, I speak to the west, I speak to the north. Everywhere your blessing is, I command it to locate you tonight in the name of Jesus. Rabakadoska, Rabakadeshka. I cancel every evil operation of evil altars. Shalabakaraske, Magadoshka, Rabakadoske. Lipokoroska, Magadeshka. I want you for one minute, open your mouth and mention the names of your family members. I cancel every operation of evil altars in your family from tonight. Yes. Evil altars of backwardness. Yes. Evil altars of constant failure. Oh, yes. Raised against your family. By the reason of this service, we pull those satanic altars down. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Altars of confusion and frustration. We command them catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire. I command every demonic altar for those in this auditorium and for those that are watching. Yes. Let those altars be broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Rabakadoska, Rabakadeshka. Oh Lord, in this service, disappoint the devices of the crafty. Yes. Every satanic ritual. That has been done against your life and family and destiny. Yes. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tonight I wage war against satanic altars in the name of Jesus. Yes. The Lord told Josiah to prophesy against satanic altars. Tonight I stand as an oracle. Yes. I prophesy against all the satanic altars. Oh, yes. I destroy every altar releasing incantations against our lives and our family members. In the name of Jesus. Rabakadoska. Ripakadoska Rabakadeshka Rabakadoska. Lipakaroska Magadeshka. I command altars of marital failure. Catch fire. Catch fire. Altars of poverty. Catch fire. Catch fire. Altars of alcoholism. Catch fire. Altars that are working against our breakthroughs. Catch fire. Altars that are releasing sicknesses in our families. Catch fire. Altars that are working against our careers. Catch fire. Right now, catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, yes. shout Amen. Amen. Every family that is represented here. Rabakadoska, Rabakadeshka. Libakaraske Magadoshka. I release grace to terminate generational curses. Lord, in this service, we cancel every demonic plan of the devil against our families. Lord, have mercy upon our families. Shalabakadoska, Rabakadeshka. To everyone that is here as you are lifting up your hands, receive grace to rewrite your family history. I speak deliverance over your family. Shalabakados Karabakadesh. Powers assigned to stop your family. I stop them tonight. Rabakadosh Karabakados. Lipokoroska Magadesh Karabakados. Oh, I declare victory over your family. I declare deliverance over your family. In the name of Jesus, I declare breakthrough and deliverance over your family. I speak God's abundance over your family. I speak direction over your family. I speak wisdom over your family. Rabakadoska, Rabakadeshka. Every demonic yoke in your family. I crush it. I command it catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Razokadeshka. Rabakadoska. 
We destroy every sickness, every disease, every affliction, every weakness of body in our family, every spirit of death. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. As you're lifting your hands above your head, Father, move by your spirit and by your power. Shande Kaloska Magaraski. Shando Lebakadoska. Hey, Father, we honor you. We have come at your feet at Miracle Monday to worship you. We have come at your feet to obtain direction and inquire of you for our lives, for our families, for our callings. Lord, I pray at this moment, may the prophetic mantle rest upon every person that is in this auditorium and even those that are watching us. Oh, Shalabakadoska. May our ears be anointed to hear. I bring myself under the submission and under the subjection of the Holy Ghost. Rabakadoshka, Rabakadoshka. I declare in the name of Jesus, use me to be a blessing to those in this auditorium and even to those that are watching on Facebook, on YouTube, on Oracle One TV, in their homes, in their offices, wherever they are in the nations of the world. Let the same unction, let the same anointing, the same power that is on the altar of Miracle Monday affect them wherever they are. Let me speak as your oracle. Let me speak as your mouthpiece. Let your people live here blessed. In Jesus' name, shout amen. amen. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. For we do not wrestle. Can we uh, uh, read it on screen uh, as I read? For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. But against principality, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. This is going to be my anchor scripture even as uh, I minister tonight and I just need to lay the foundation for your understanding and God will bless you. So when we read Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12, we wrestle it helps us to understand that we wrestle against principalities, we wrestle against powers, against rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. So this is very important. Tonight this is a prophetic word that, laid in, that God laid in my heart. Altar versus altar. But for you to be able to understand where I am taking you, you need to first start by understanding what is an altar. And so I have been praying, I've been in study, and I've been asking the Lord to give me the grace to deliver this word as he gave it to me. So before even I go further, I want first to tell you what altar is in Hebrew and in Greek, and then I will simplify it. In Hebrew, the Hebrew word for altar is misery which means a place of slaughter and in the Greek it is a theosistoron which means a place of sacrifice but now in simple words an altar is a place where humanity meets divinity an altar connects the physical to the spiritual an altar is where the spirit world and the physical world meet together it is a place where the physical meets the supernatural an altar is a place where appointments are made and I want you to begin with this understanding. There are three dimensions of altars. There is personal altar, family altar and corporate altar. Miracle Monday by itself is our corporate altar and I want to focus on that tonight because this is an altar that will speak on your behalf and on behalf of your family. Somebody say amen. amen. So listen to me well because I'm taking you somewhere. An altar is a place as I've said, where humanity meets divinity. Uh, an altar connects the physical to the, soup, to the spiritual. An altar is where the spirit world and the physical world meet. It is a place of power. An altar is a place of sacrifice. Hallelujah. And there are two kinds of altars. We have godly altars and satanic altars. Tell your neighbor, there are two kinds of altars. Altars. Godly altars, godly altar, and satanic altars. And satanic altars. So every 
altar, whether it is godly or satanic, an altar is a place of spiritual encounter. An altar is a place of communication. An altar is a place where sacrifices are laid. An altar is a gate of transaction between the spiritual and the physical realm. An altar is a designated place where sacrifices are made to God or deity. Somebody say amen. An altar is a place designed for worship. An altar is a place where prayers and praises are made to God. An altar is a place where victory and defeat are determined. An altar also is a place where destinies are summoned. So with this understanding now, I want you to understand when I mean altar versus altar. I am talking about godly altars versus satanic altars. Because there are some evil satanic altars in high places that have been erected against our lives and our destinies. And tonight is a night of altar versus altar. So when I say altar versus altar, it means spirits fighting spirits. Hallelujah. That means humanity steps aside. And tonight even as I continue, I want to make a prophetic decree. Every demon Demonic altar, yes. every satanic altar oh, yes. that is fighting your destiny, yes. that is fighting your marriage yes. or your marital settlement, oh, yes. that is fighting your business, your yes. career, your promotion. I command that altar, catch fire. Catch fire. I said, catch fire. Catch fire. Any demonic altar that is speaking against your life. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tonight I came to do my assignment. Can I do my assignment? Do it, Mama. I said, can I do my assignment? Yes, all right. Any altar that vowed you will never be married. Yes. Any altar that vowed you will never prosper. Oh, yes. Any altar that vowed you will never conceive. Yes. Any altar that vowed you will never make it in life. Oh, yes. I command that altar tonight by the reason of this altar. Yes. Catch fire and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Tell them it is altar versus altar. It is altar versus altar. Now, I want you to start with this understanding about satanic altars. There are people that have gone to witch doctors and sorcerers. Wameenda kwa waganga wa kienyeji na wameenda kwa washirikina. Na wakatoa kafara kwa ajili yako. And those are the altars I want to deal with tonight. Can I deal with those altars? Yes, ma'am. Anyone that has taken your name yes. or the names of your family members oh, yes. to any witchcraft altar. Hey. Anyone that has taken your picture oh, yes. or the picture of your family members. Uh -huh. I decree and declare yes. fire on those altars. Fire. Fire on those altars. Fire. Ye yote alie chukua jina lako ama au picha yako. Yes. Au picha ya jama zako. Oh, yes. Na kapeleka kwa madhabau za wa shirikina. Yes. Somebody say catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Anyone that has taken your pictures and your names to which doctors. Oh, yes. As they call your name. Mm. I declare fire will answer. Amen. I said fire will answer. answer. I said fire will answer. What? I said fire will answer. Fire. Somebody lift up your hand. Say any demonic altar. Any demonic altar. Any satanic altar. Any satanic altar. Calling my name. Calling my name. Or the name of my family members. Or the name of my family members. Fire will answer. Fire will answer. Fire will answer. Fire will answer. Whoever has given a sacrifice mm. to raise a demonic altar oh, yes. against your business, oh, yes. against your marriage, hey. against your calling, uh -huh. against your destiny, yes. catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Any demonic altar yes. that is summoning your name, oh, yes. that is summoning your business, oh, yes. that is summoning your children, oh, yes. that is summoning your properties. Oh, yes. I said, Holy Ghost fire. Fire. I said, Holy Ghost fire. Fire. Look at your neighbor. Tell them fire will answer. Fire will answer. Whoever is calling your name on any demonic altar. Mm -hmm. Whether they are using a mirror or satanic projections, uh -huh. let fire answer. Fire. I said, let fire answer. Fire. Sit down. Shalabakados. Mm -mm. Power. 
So why are satanic altars made? Satanic altars are made to speak against you. Satanic altars are made to destroy destinies. Satanic altars are made to destroy marriages. They are designed to destroy lives. That's why the Bible says in John 10.10, 10, the devil came to kill, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So satanic altars are designed to destroy lives. Satanic altars are done to undermine progress. Satanic altars are made to hinder your blessing. Satanic altars are made to kill destinies. Satanic altars bring frustration and disappointment. Satanic altars are made to bring stagnation in our lives. And I decree and declare whoever will raise a satanic altar against you, okay. either to kill your destiny or to kill you prematurely, mm. I command it, catch fire! Fire! Catch fire! Fire. fire. So every satanic, the reason why you cannot take satanic altars for granted, it is because satanic altars has satanic power that backs it. That's why the Bible says we do not wrestle against blood and flesh. It is spirit against spirit. Hallelujah. But against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of darkness. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Every satanic altar that is working to destroy the plan and the purpose of God for your life. Tonight I command it catch fire. Catch fire. There are people here, satanic altars are fighting your prosperity. And that is why you have a good job. But even after working for years, you have nothing to show. Somebody said the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. A lot of, if you take stock or if you reflect and check the money that passes your hand, it's a lot of money. But if you are told to show or to account, you have nothing to show. Look at your neighbor, tell them, my story is changing. My story is changing. Hallelujah. And some of you, even when you get money, that is when problems arise. Yani vile tu pesa inakuja ndio mashida na matatizo inazidi. Salamia mtu muambia, shetani ya shindwe mfululizo. Shetani ya shindwe mfululizo. Hallelujah satanic altars but I speak as a servant of God I speak as the prophet of this altar Rabakadoshka, Rabakadoshka. any satanic altar you know anything you don't fight in your time it will live to fight your children and your children's children that is why I gave you an assignment on Monday and I said I want you to go and identify because it is what you identify that you are able to confront and conquer and Anything you don't deal with in your time, if it is poverty, if it is generational sickness, if it is alcoholism, anything you identify that is a pattern, your great grandfather had it, your grandfather had it, your father had it, now the same signs are in your life, your mother had it, your grandmother had it, and now the same signs, you are starting to see them in your life. Anything you don't fight in your time, it will live to fight your children and your children's children. That is why I said in this service, it is altar versus altar. You must reflect because you are the deliverer of your family. You are the redeemer of your family. And I prayed for you during this week and I said, Lord, open their eyes that they may identify what is the altars that are fighting their families. Because what you identify, you are able to confront and conquer. Ask your neighbor, did you identify? Did you identify? Uh, ask your neighbor, did you identify? Did you identify? I speak as an oracle. Yes, oracle. Any demonic altar that you identified and wrote down, yes. I command that altar, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. From this altar of miracle Monday, oh, receive your blessing. Receive. receive long life. Receive. receive marital breakthrough. Receive, receive increase. Receive. receive employment. Receive. receive international doors. Receive. I receive. receive. Shabaka loska magadoshka rabakadoski. Lipa koroska magadeshka. Every altar has a voice. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, every altar has a voice. Every altar has a voice. And the voice of every altar is a sacrifice. Look at your neighbor, tell them, the voice of every altar is a sacrifice. Nandio kwa mwana unaona, 
Even the children of the dark. Wakienda kwa waganga wakienyeji. Kuna zile the bihu ambazo wanatoa. Somebody say amen. amen. So every altar is empowered by a sacrifice. And sacrifice is the voice of the altar. And tonight I pray a prayer. Any sacrifice on any demonic altar. That is contending with our lives. Our destinies. Our ministries. Our callings. Let those sacrifices catch fire. Catch fire. I said catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Somebody lift up your hand. Say any altar. Any altar. Fighting my life. Fighting my life. From my father's side or my mother's side. From my father's side or my mother's side. Catch fire. Catch fire. Any altar from the village. Any altar from the village. Fighting my life. Fighting my life. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say, catch fire. Catch fire. Come on, lift up your voice and say, catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, amen. Amen. Now watch this. For an, for an altar to be effective, it takes three things. Number one, it requires an active priest. Hallelujah. They are battles you can win alone. But they are battles you need the involvement of a prophetic grace. So number one, for any altar to be effective, there has to be a priest. Somebody say amen. amen. Tell your neighbor, there are battles you can win alone. There are battles you can win alone. But they are battles. But they are battles. You need the involvement. You need the involvement. Of a prophetic grace. Of a prophetic grace. They are battles you can win alone. But they are battles you need to involve a higher grace. Somebody say amen. amen. They are battles I pray for myself. But they are battles I need the intervention of a higher grace and anointing. There are some things when I go through, I don't just pray for myself. I involve my spiritual father. I give a sacrifice and he prays for me. He covers me. Number two, for any altar to be effective, it requires a sacrifice. Look at your neighbor, tell them a sacrifice. A sacrifice. Now, what is the difference between an offering and a sacrifice? An offering is what you give cheerfully. is what you give out of God's supply. It is, for example, if God gives you 30,000, if you give... Uh, a thousand, hallelujah, or if you give 300 or 500, that is an offering, it is what you give out of God's supply out of God's abundance it doesn't move you, it doesn't affect you it doesn't shake you, hallelujah if I have, uh, if I have uh, three, if I have uh, 30,000 and I give you 100, does it move me? No. sacrifice, offering you give from your, you give what is, what you give cheerfully, but sacrifice is what touches you and moves you. Hallelujah. Because sacrifice is what covenants you to the altar. Psalms 50 verse 5 says, gather my people together. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So sacrifice is what touches you. When you give a sacrifice it must inconvenience you. If you give and it does not inconvenience you, it is not a sacrifice. It is an offering. God my saints together to me those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice something that moves you something that touches you sacrifice is the voice of the altar and I'm praying because you are the deliverer you are the redeemer of your family that God will give you the grace to give a sacrifice that will nullify every other demonic altar that has been speaking, contending, and fighting against your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shout amen. amen. And number three, for any altar to be effective, it requires prayer. Tell your neighbor prayer. Prayer. Uh, look at your neighbor. Tell them for any altar to be effective. For any altar to be effective. It requires a priest. It requires a priest. A sacrifice. A sacrifice. And prayer. And prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. So you cannot fight a demonic altar by human intelligence. It is altar versus altar. I remember one witch came and confessed. She was, uh, uh, she was uh, a Sangoma in South Africa. I was preaching. I was with Princess uh, in Durban. And I remember uh, I was preaching uh, 
uh, in Durban, one which came and said, I don't know, during the deliverance session as I was ministering, she said, I don't know the powers you are using, but every time we summoned your name, every time we called your name, they were using a demonic mirror to call my name because they were saying I was interfering with their work during my time of ministration in Durban. They said the mirror broke and fire answered as they summoned my name. Shadoska, mm. Labakadoska. And this Sangoma was mesmerized. I remember she brought all her paraphernalia and we burnt them and uh, we prayed for her. But she said and she confessed, I don't know what is this power. And I told her if there is witchcraft, there is Godcraft. Hallelujah. From today when we appear, demons will, will disappear. Amen. As we appear, witches will disappear. Amen. Oh, Shalabakadoska. Anyone that will try to go to a witch because of you, they cannot succeed or because of your family. Amen. Because of the power of the altar. As we get ready to pray, every demonic altar, lift up your hands as you're seated. Every demonic altar that is fighting you, that is fighting your family, your career, your business, your children, your ministry. Tonight it will be destroyed. I connect you to this altar. I lay a demand on my spiritual anointing to those that believe in the grace of God that is upon my life. I decree and declare every altar shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Every altar that is fighting you that you will not rise up, that you will not conceive, that you will not build a house, that you will not get a good job, that you will never go to nation. I destroy those altars. I stand on this altar as a priest. I declare, Rabba Kadoshka, this is more powerful than their altar. Rabba Kadoshka, may the God of this altar Fight anything and anyone that is fighting against you. May the voice from the altar contend with what contends against you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, Rabba Kadoska, Ripo Kodoska, in the name of the Holy Ghost, Ripo Koloska. Any demonic altar summoning your name, your job, your business, your properties, I declare fire will answer. Fire will answer. Fire will answer. Rabba Kadoshka, whoever is trying to call you, their own face will appear. Their own face will appear. Amen. Their own face will appear. I declare Rabba Kadoshka, Rabba Kadeshka. Any satanic altar that is working against you in the demonic world. I declare it will be destroyed. Amen. I speak as a servant of God. I speak as a prophet of God. Every altar is destroyed. Every altar is destroyed. Every altar is destroyed. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shalabaka raske magadoshka. Ligoroska magadeshka rabakadoske. Stand up on your feet. You're here and you want to give a sacrifice you either have it or it's on Mpesa and you're saying I want to give my sacrifice on the altar of this ministry you are saying oracle I am covenanting my family to God I am disconnecting my family from generational curses ancestral altars anyone that has gone to any sorcerer against my life or my family as we are passing them and as we are having this song I want you to lay your sacrifice if it's on Mpesa you can use our ministry line as a point of contact to lay your sacrifice on them. This is not your tithe. It is not your partnership. This is a sacrifice. You are saying I want to give this that touches me and moves me. And if you're watching me from around the world, you can also do it on wave. You can give your sacrifice for yourself and for your family. On wave, on world remit, on Simba Pay. There are some prophetic decrees I want to make very quickly. In three minutes time please i want you pass it if you have any sacrifice if it's on mpesa those that are watching begin to send your sacrifice and just send it right now and i just want you if you have that sacrifice on if you have it on your hand come and touch the altar miracle monday is an altar it is an altar that speaks i want you to come that is who you are that is who you are
when you come, just lay your sacrifice because of time. Your sacrifice is the voice of the altar. Just while you are standing, just touch the altar. While you are standing, just while you are standing, touch the altar, touch the altar, touch the altar. Your sacrifice is the voice of the altar. Just touch the altar and go to your seat. Just touch the altar. That is who you are. If it's on a person, I want you to give God that sacrifice that moves you and touches you. Give him that offering that you have never given. You are a faithful God. leave your phone here as you are giving don't leave the phone here just just pick your phone just touch the altar thank you holy ghost over every sacrifice that has been laid on this altar. I destroy altars of poverty, altars of delay, altars of failure, altars of barrenness, altars of infirmity. I pull them down in the name of Jesus. Altars of stagnation, every legal access, any altar has had on you because of sacrifices that were made on those altars. I declare, catch fire! Shalabakadoska, Lipokoroska Magadeshka. I take authority over all curses that have been issued against your life and family from evil altars. Oh, Rabakadoska, I release your family from the bondage of family altars. Every altar of backwardness, I command it to catch fire. Every altar of constant failure that was raised in the family. Every altar of confusion and frustration, I command it to catch fire. Ah, Rabba Kadoska. I scatter anyone that is fighting you secretly. Anyone that is contending against your life and destiny secretly. Yes. I scatter them by fire. Amen. Shadoska, Rabba Kadoska. Every demonic altar working against your progress. Hear the word of the Lord. Be destroyed now. I wage war against evil family altars. From today I declare you are walking under open heavens. I, receive it. I declare you have the mind of an overcomer. Oh, the spirit of a conqueror. Amen. The heart of a champion. In Jesus name shout amen. amen you will be a record breaker I receive. a history maker I receive oh shalabaka doska if there is any witch that vowed you will never be blessed yes. I stand as the priest of God oh, yes. I vow that you will be blessed and I you will prosper it. if there is any witch in the village that beat their chests and said you will never settle and be established in life. Oh, yes. I stand as God's oracle. Yes. I beat my chest. Mm. I said you will settle and you will be established in the name of Jesus. Any demonic decree yes. against your life and your family. Yes. I overturn in the name of Jesus. Amen. I send the rain of affliction. 
on every satanic altar yes. that is contending with your life and destiny. Yes. I declare after this miracle Monday, what they said was impossible in your life. Oh, yes. God is turning it to possibility. Shandos Karaba, lift your hands. Even those that are watching, as you're watching me, and you're saying, Oracle of God, the Lord is laying it in my heart. Because this is a revelation for the season. And God told me to tell people to raise altars for their families, to covenant their life, their careers, their businesses to God. And the Lord told me any demonic altar that is fighting, and anybody that goes to any witch doctor, because there is an altar you have raised before God, you are godly altar will speak against all satanic altars in Jesus' name. Amen. Whoever goes to any muganga, I said, back to the center. Back to the center. Fire will answer. Fire will answer. Ata waende kwa washirikina. Hawawezi kushindana na wewe. Sema amen. Amen. Now listen, you want to give a sacrifice on the altar of this ministry, please use our ministry line, World Remit Wave, and your sacrifice will reach the altar of this ministry. And as the priest of this altar, I covenant your family to God. I covenant your business to God. I covenant your children to God. And I disconnect them from satanic evil altars in high places in Jesus' name. Shout amen. Please, if you're there, you are a tither, you need an envelope. We have uh, one type of envelope for partners and tithers. Make sure you pick that envelope. Tithe is the 10% of your income. Lift your hands. Our kingdom hostesses will bring it right where you are. Tithe is the connection to the protection of your finances. Tithe is the foundation of prosperity. I love our father of faith, Abraham. In Genesis 14, 20, when he met Melchizedek, he gave a height of all. Abraham, and remember he was so rich, Genesis 13 too. He was rich in gold, in silver, and in livestock. But he gave a tithe of all. Tithing is a principle. Tithing is what rebukes the devourer. Devourers are eaters of finances. Hallelujah. And I thank God for every tithe. That tithing makes God a shareholder of whatever you do. Tithe rebukes demotion. Tithe rebukes stagnation. Somebody say amen. I want you to come. You are there. You are a tither. If it's on Mpesa, the number is on screen. And God will be able to bless you. You are a partner. Even in Jesus' earthly ministry, he had partners. Also, take the envelope. Wherever God leads you to partner with the work of God, I want you to lay it there. Please come on the altar as we have this song in Jesus' name. To faithful, to, uh, to failures. Can we have that song? The other one. Shadaske Rabakadoska. Worship him. Jesus. You're too faithful to fail. You are coming, I'm waiting for you very quickly. Shala Bakados. Rebaka Laske Magados. You're too faithful to fail me. Oh, yes. You're too faithful. Those that are coming, come point me. You've proven yourself. I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. Father, I bless every tither. As I anoint the tithers, I release the tithers' blessing. I thank you for the partners that are supporting the work of God and this ministry. I bless their life and everything that is connected to them. In Jesus' name, amen. As I anoint you, just lay it on the altar as I anoint your hands. Go to your seat in Jesus' name. You're too loving to leave me You're too loving to leave me halfway What you start, you always finish And I've come to realize You're too faithful to fail me Jesus, you are too faithful to fail me. Uh, I honor the grace of God upon you, Mama Oracle. We have a test an online testimony from Catherine in the United Kingdom. She says, your God has really been good, Mama. She says she wants to testify about, uh, I want to give God all the glory for opening door for me. 
have always had the desire to be a blessing to African women. And one of the door I was trusting God for is through media. Even, even though I started a group this week, uh, which was sort of stagnant. So this one of my petition, this was one of my petition during the 21 days of fasting and prayer. And last week, I had this urge in my spirit to step out in faith and interview a friend, of, a friend on an entrepreneur journey. I must praise God for last Saturday. We did a live interview and the response has been very encouraging. Praise be to God. Amen. Can we appreciate God for Catherine all the way from the United Kingdom? That is one of our partners testifying of uh, a vision becoming a reality. And on the basis of her testimonies, we pray that every vision that God has laid in your heart in 2020, let it become a reality and a manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus. Some Somebody say amen. And Catherine, we pray that that platform of media that God has given you, as you step out by faith, may you impact thousands and millions of women around the world. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh -huh. We have a testimony from Beatrice Kimeu. She says, I thank God for healing my dad. My dad had pressure and diabetic. He, was being sick. he has been sick since last year, February. But after attending Miracle Monday last Monday, now he's doing well and in Jesus' name, he's healed. Amen. Is that an online testimony? No, no, no. no. Oh, she's here. She's here. Amen. Please come so that we thank God and we declare compump, the healing of your father is permanent. And if you're here and you have anyone sick, by the reason of this testimony, lift up your hands wherever you are. Shalabakadoskarabakadeshka. Ligaraske Magadoshka. And technician, I had said the sound was okay where it was previously, so I'm requesting that it's constant. Hallelujah. You know, uh, it's so distracting for a preacher. The destiny of a preacher is in their voice. Everybody lift up your hands. If you're here, you have any loved one that is sick at home, whether they are sick in the hospital, whether they are sick at home. Right now, I send the word of healing. I come against the spirit of sickness and disease. Any sickness that has resisted medication, I declare the blood of Jesus is against it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare a word of healing. Right now, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. So tell me, how is your father now? He's doing well. Uh huh. I attending Miracle Money last time. Uh huh. Mm, the pressure was high. Uh huh. But now he's doing well. Amen. Can we give the Lord a clap of ring? Mom, we have a great testimony on someone who's testifying on the prophetic word you released over the life coming into manifestation. The testimony is from Patrick Musasi. He says, I honor the grace working upon you, Mama Oracle. I humbly and passionately thank God for his miracles in our family. When you pronounced a prophetic word about praying for the family, I faithfully wrote the names of my family members, and then miraculously, after a couple of days, my brother was asked to report to work in a PNG in Australia. Secondly, my sister who was called, was called to work in the Middle East in Lebanon. Lastly, my brother Stanley got a divine connection with the Destiny Helper who purchased band instruments for him. Wow, Patrick, where are you? Hallelujah. I decree and declare yes. the blessing that you are going to contact from this altar and from this service. Oh, yes. It will not just affect you, but all your family members in the name of I Jesus. Receive it. I decree and declare yes. any of your family members that is going through stagnation. Yes. I call them out in the name of Jesus. Oh, amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So what is uh, so your brother is in Australia? Yeah, my brother Biko traveled. Uh, Sometimes back in Australia. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, his job was, uh, it went down. Uh huh. And he was asked to come back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. But after you, you, you say the prophetic word about the writing. Families. Of yeah. Uh huh. I wrote uh, our family members' names and faithfully I prayed to God. Mm. And God just did it. He Amen. was called back to Australia to do to his work. My God. Yeah. And your other brother, you are saying also he got band instruments. Yeah, Stanley got uh, band instruments. Uh -huh. uh, uh, 
he met one of the ladies from USA mm -hmm. and through the show up showcase she bought she bought him uh, some instruments my god may god raise help us for your families I receive it. any of your family members that require destiny oh, help us. Yes. I pray that God will send them help us. I receive. Receive it. academic help us. I receive. Receive financial help us. I receive. It. Receive business help us. I receive. Receive corporate help us. I receive. Mama Oracle, we have another testimony from Regina Peter. Mm. He says, Hallelujah. God is working in the God is really working in the altar of Miracle Monday. Last week on Monday, I was very sick, and uh, while while in the service, I could not stand. But but I, I said I said in my heart, Lord, heal, heal me. And seriously, before I got out of the place, I was healed. I I was to take medical for one week, but that was cancelled. I thank my the Lord. My God, where are you, Regina? We thank God for this testimony. Yes. We declare it is cancelled in the name of oh, Jesus. Yes. So by the time you you left, when you came, you were feeling very sick. Yeah, I was so sick. Mm -hmm. I could not even stand in my feet. My the God. Whole service, I was seated, mm -hmm. just crying. But when you started preaching. There is somebody who came and you prayed for sickness. Uh -huh. I felt I sweat followed in my body. Nilitoa njasho muli water. Kwa hivyo ulitoa njasho alafu baada ya hapo ukasikia nini? Ukasikia nimepata nguvu na nikapona. Na unje nje kilimitangaza nilipofika kwa nyumba nikajaribu kukunywa ndawa za jioni. Azikukaa kwa tumbo nilimeza na nikatapika and that was over. My God. Can we give God the glory? You can just hear just being in the arena of miracles. I don't know her. I didn't even pray for her. But just being in the arena of miracles, she received her, her healing. I declare from wherever you are, yes. receive your miracle. I receive it. From wherever you are watching me, receive your breakthrough. I receive Receive it. your visitation. I receive it. Receive whatever you are believing God for. I receive Tonight it. I declare, may God meet you at the point of your expectation. Yes. Receive a miracle that is permanent. Receive, receive a breakthrough that cannot be denied. I receive in the name of Jesus. It. Lift up your hands. The Lord is going to fight you for you. Because you came to testify about healing. But as I go into the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing satanic altars in high places. Move this podium. I need to pray for her. Shalabakadoska. I want you to stand on this elevated altar. I was planning to go and start teaching and preaching. I was trying to go very quickly on testimonies. But the Lord has told me tonight is your night. Tonight is your night. Every altar that has been fighting and contending with your destiny. Yes. It will be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every negative decree that was spoken against your life. Yes. Tonight I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I place a demand on the spiritual grace and anointing that is upon my life. To contend with anything that is contending against you. Yes. To fight with anything that is fighting you. Rabakaloska magadeshka, ripokoloska magadeshka rabakadoska, lizo yagadeshka. The Lord tells me to tell you where you suffered the most. That is where you will shine the brightest. You have gone through so much, but that say yet the Lord God of Israel. This is going to be your year of restoration. Amen. The Lord will prepare a table for you. In the presence of your enemies. Those that have vowed you are going down. They will wonder at your success. Amen. God will silence the mouth of your adversary. Stretch your hands towards her. I silence the voice of history over your life. I declare the beginning of a new season. As I anoint you. Let the altar of miracle mountain begin to speak on your behalf. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shalaba. Everybody lift up your hands. Begin to speak in the Holy Ghost. Ripokoloska. Rapakalaske magadoshka. Altar 
Altars of stagnation. Altars of poverty. Shanto Koloska. Are you married? Umeachika. Because as I look at you in the realm of the spirit, I am seeing the number eight. I'm asking the Lord, what is this number eight? How many years were you married? Eight, eight years. Can I prophesy? Prophesy, Mama. Lipa koroska magadeshka. Mungu atakufuta machozi. Kama mimi ni napi. Mwaka huni natangaza kilio chako kitafika mwisho. Oh, yes. Oh, Rabaka Loska. Ripa Koloska Magadeshka Rabakadoska. Riga Laske Magadoshka Rabakadoska. I am seeing you crying in the realm of the spirit. And I'm asking the Lord, why are you crying? And the Lord told me, Oh, it is because of the battles. Lakini Mungu ananiambia ni kwambie. Yani majira imefika ya ukombozi wako na ukombozi wa uzao wako. Hebu nyoshie huyu mwanamke mikono. Ninaona ukombozi wa huyu mwanamke na uzao wake. I am seeing two boys standing next to you. Two boys, two boys. I'm seeing two boys. Who are these? Joseph and Peter, my son. Can I prophesy? Prophesy, mama. The Lord tells me it shall be well with your children. Every altar that is contending against your children, I command it, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Ebu mnyoshe mikono. Kwa sababu kuna watu ambao walienda kwa waganga wa kienyeji na wa shirikina. Oh, lakini ni natangaza. Kafara zote zilizotolewa. Kinyume na maisha yako na watoto wako. Yes. Natangaza zinateketea kwa moto katika china Amen. la yesu. Madabau yote inayonena kinyume na maisha yako. Everybody lift up your hand. If there is anybody that went to a witch. Or to a sorcerer. Yes. Or to a sangoma. Oh, yes. Or to a ninyanga. Hey. Because of your life or your family. Yes, Lord. I command those altars. Catch fire. 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 Today God is delivering you. God is delivering your children. I see these two boys. Rabba Kadoska. They will arise to become great men. Stretch your hands towards. Can I have the mantle? God will wipe away your tears this year. God will wipe away your tears. Mark the date of today on the altar of Miracle Monday. Shadabaka Loska. Oh! Ebu inuwa mikono yako, jutangaza kilio changu kinafika mwisho. Kilio changu kinafika mwisho. The Bible says, weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Your joy is coming. Amen. Your peace is coming. Amen. I speak peace to your heart. Peace to your mind. Peace to your spirit. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is changing your story. From the altar of Miracle Monday. I bless your life. I open your doors. A new beginning in Jesus' name. Stand up on your feet. Oh, Shadaba, hold this. The Lord is telling me, you will serve God. You will serve God. Na mungu ananiambia ni kuombe kibali cha kumtumikia mungu. And I'm asking the Lord, Lord, which area is this woman going to serve you in? Then I am seeing you in the spirit. I am seeing you singing, 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 singing. I'm seeing you singing. Shadabaka. Can I go deeper? Go deeper, Oracle. Oh, Rabaka lost. Mm, but I'm seeing a lot of satanic opposition. Because I'm even seeing you going to a studio. But your music has not gone anywhere. True or not true? true. Shalabaka doska. Any demonic altar. Yes. That was erected against your life and calling. Yes. I commanded, cut fire. Cut fire. Shadowska. As I anoint you, bring the oil. Shadowska. Lagaraski. 
every altar that was raised against your life that brought stagnation and backwardness in your life because i'm seeing you taking one step forward then you take five steps backward nothing is working nothing is moving in your life but god is changing your story god is bringing you out of poverty altars of poverty altars of luck somebody say altars of poverty altars of poverty hey i want you to lift up your hands in every wealthy family there is one member that decided to break the altars of poverty mm -hmm. Hey, say altars of poverty. Altars of poverty. In my bloodline. In my bloodline. Catch fire. Catch fire. Somebody lift up your hands. I declare where others are rejected. Yes. Go and be accepted. I receive. Where others are tolerated. Yes. Go and be celebrated. I receive. Where others are condemned. Oh, yes. Go and be commended. I receive. Where are tolerated. Oh, yes. Call and be celebrated. I receive it. Say, I receive. I receive. Mm. Mama, we have another testimony from uh, Jen Kitonga who resides in the U.S. Uh -huh. uh, she's testifying of how God has really been good to her. Uh -huh. And she says, through the oracle, many prophetic declaration and prayer, God opened this door on 14th of January 2019. Mm. This was an international door. Uh -huh. Then she said, six months down the line, the spirit of Judas entered three women in my business neighbor. Uh, they conspired to bring me down and the check I had written to my supplier was returned, meaning I could not be supplied with any goods. Mm. I was heartbroken and confused, but declared every declaration said upon my life by the oracle of God, like the door that God has opened, no man can shut. Somebody say anointing that provokes open doors. Anointing that provokes open doors. Fall on me now. Fall on me now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on say anointing that provokes open doors. Anointing that provokes Please lift open up doors. your hands and pray this prayer point. Somebody say anointing that provokes open doors. Anointing that provokes open doors. Fall on me now. Fall on me now. Somebody say any adversary. Any adversary. Against my open Open doors. Against my open doors. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name. Somebody of Jesus. say, I declare. I declare. This week. This week. I will enter my open doors. I will enter my open doors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, every adversary. Every adversary. Lift up your hands like you believe it. As your hands are lifted, may your life receive a divine lifting. I receive it. Somebody say, any adversary. Any adversary. Against my open doors. Against my open doors. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I declare. I declare. My doors are open. When I mention a door, say open. Financial doors. Open. Promotion doors. Open. A breakthrough doors. Open. Victory doors. Open. Doors of healing. Open. Doors of visa. Open. Doors of permanent residence. Open. Doors of citizenship. Open. Business capital. Open. 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 Doors of employment. Open. Doors of marital settlement. Open. Doors of fruit of the womb. Open. American visa. Open. A UK visa. Open. Shanghai visa. Open. 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 Shout yeah. Yeah. Power. Mama Oracle, we have a testimony from Nick who is testifying on receiving a miracle job. Mm. He says, God is faithful. After leaving a job because of frustration, God has restored what I lost and more. This week, I landed a miracle job which is paying double of what I got before. My God. Can we thank God because of this testimony? Hallelujah. Nick, where are you? And if you are here and you are being frustrated at your place of work, we decree and we declare enough is enough. Amen. 
No more frustration in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said no more frustration in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are here and you are trusting God for a job, receive a high paying job. I receive it. I pray for anyone that is watching me and those that are here. You are trusting God for a job either for you or any of your family members. I declare favor will speak for you. Favor will qualify you where you are disqualified. I declare right now receive a high high paying job in it. Jesus name God bless you Nick you. this is such a great blessing yes. I remember Nick shared with me and we prayed together when he was being frustrated you know you can have a good job but somebody decides to frustrate you and he said enough is enough I'm resigning from this job and I remember uh, he looked for me he came with a seed sowed a seed that was two weeks ago or three weeks ago two weeks ago two weeks ago and I was trying to tell him, you know, my schedule is tight. My schedule is busy. He said, wherever you are, I am coming. And I just love this kind of faith. Hallelujah. And he said, I want you to speak a word. And now two weeks later, God has given him a job that is paying him double of what he was earning in the previous place. Can I prophesy as an oracle? Prophesy, oracle of God. Where you suffered frustration. Oh, yes. May God give you double for your trouble. I receive it. I say double for your trouble. I receive it. I say double for your trouble. I receive it. Shout it. Sit down. Hey. So when are you reporting to work? still yet to decide but uh, somewhere between now hey i'm yet to decide may god give you a job that will give you options say i connect i connect this is such a great testimony my god so you are yet to decide Amen. This can only be God. I want you to stretch your hands. And you know, Nick is uh, a son to our head of guest relations in the ministry, my daughter Alice. Please join your son. Let me pronounce a blessing to both of you. Hallelujah. This is her son. And what a great blessing when uh, both mother and son can be loving God. Somebody say, I connect. I connect. And then my daughter is aging gracefully. Hallelujah. When I say this is the son, they look like brother and sister. Somebody say, I connect. I connect. May you serve God with your children. I receive it. Your children will not depart from the ways of the Lord. I receive Your it. children will follow you to the church. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The destinies of your children will not be wasted. Oh, yes. The destinies of your children will not be destroyed. Oh, yes. I love what Joshua said. As for me and my family, yes. we will serve the Lord. Amen. Lift up your hand and declare, as for me and my family, as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. Mention the name of your brothers and sisters. Mention the name of your father. Mention the name of your mother. Mention the name of your parents. Declare, as for me and my family, and even my family. those that are not born again, we call them right now to the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. For where God has saved one, he is able to save all. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Sit down and stretch your hands. Father, I thank you for Nick together with the mom. Thank you for these wonderful sons and daughters. Lord, I pronounce a blessing upon their life. I thank you because their latter days will be greater. The best is yet to come. I'm just hearing the Lord say what God is about to do. No eye has seen. No ear has heard. Neither has it entered the hearts of men. What God is about to do. Rabakadoska. Ripokoloska magadeshka rabakadoski. Razo yagaraske magadoshka. Ripokoloska magadeshka rabakaloski. Zigadeshka rabakalaski. I bless your lives. I decree and declare. The Lord will wipe away your tears this year. And as you start this new job, affliction will not rise a second time. Amen. No frustration in the name of Jesus. You will enjoy your job. You will love your job. You will be excited to go to work. In the name of Jesus, God will give you multiple streams of income. I bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's put our hands together. She's uh, Patricia Mangusa. She says, 
the oracle was preaching about the destiny help us two, month, two Mondays ago. Mm. She declared that we receive our visas to Europe, USA, ETC. Mm -hmm. uh, I was sent an email two days later asking me to go for the visa that we had applied three of us and we got our visas today for five years. All right, let her come and explain to me this testimony. Put your hands together for Jesus. Patricia, where are you in Jesus' name? Hallelujah. Come, Patricia, this is a powerful testimony. God bless you. How are you? Let me shake your hand. Congratulations, first and foremost. So you got the visa. We had applied for the visa last year, November. Uh -huh. And they told us to wait. They're investigating us. Now, that is why I was a bit confused because I, I, I know about the U.S. Embassy. The U.S., when you apply, unambiwango hapo hapo. Kama umepewa, ama ujapewa. Sema, amen. That is why when my son, a record breaker, was reading the testimony, I was wondering and I was puzzled because when they say, they said, come back. Because usually the decision is like, on the spot. Uyo consular kikuangalia hivi, kama hauna kibali, anakwambia try again. Ama you have no social ties. So for you now, you are, when you applied in November, they didn't say yes, they didn't say no, they gave you a wait. They told us that they'll send us other qu a questionnaire. Uh -huh. Of which they sent, it was for three of us, me and my two sons. Uh -huh. Then uh, we waited from November. November. They communicated. December. December. January. January. February. Uh -huh. Then on the 24th was the my first time to come here. Uh -huh. So you are talking about the, you are uh, preaching about fight your destiny. Fight for your yes, destiny. Yes, fight for your destiny. Uh -huh. And you said I release visas for the US, my. UK and you carried on. Uh -huh. And I said I receive. Then on that was on 24th. 25th uh -huh. according uh -huh. to the passport they, they stamped it and said they have investigated and we Shadows Karapakates can I prophesy like an oracle? Prophesy, mama. Anything that was held and delayed. Remember when I stood here on the altar, I said there are some prayers that were answered. But because of demonic altars, they hindered the manifestation of the blessing. Anything that has been delayed, yes. any blessing, any breakthrough, any financial release that has been hindered, oh, yes. any visa, any permanent residence, even to those that are watching us, any citizenship, by the reason of this testimony, whatever was hindered, I speak a release. I As you leave me recommending, receive a call of good news. I As you wake up tomorrow, oh, yes. what you have been waiting for, yes. what you have been praying for, oh, yes. what you have been crying for, yes. Go and receive. receive it. Sit down, my God. This can only be God. So you picked your passport now. So on the 24th, after you prayed, uh -huh. that's when on the 25th, they released it. On the 26th, they wrote to me the third day and said, uh, you, come, you, bring your, you come and pay. And yes, the reciprocity fee. That's, that's it. So, Those that are floating, that name will become common to you. I, I see you. I see your international doors open. I receive it. Tell your neighbor, don't float, flow. Don't float, flow. Hey, hey. Tell your neighbor in Miracle Monday. In Miracle Monday. We are too global to be local. We are too global. And to I be prophesy local. this year. Oh, yes. The nations your feet have not touched. Oh, yes. Your feet will touch. I receive. I open your international doors. I receive. For ministry, receive international doors. I receive. It. For business, receive international doors. I receive. For corporate trainings, receive international doors. I receive. I prophesy to your feet. Oh, yes. Where others have not gone, you will go. I receive it. Yeah. Hey. Hey. The places others in your family have not gone. I said you will be the first. I receive. You will be the first in your family. I receive. Receive in I the name receive of Jesus. Receive it. Sit down, my God. So now you have the visa. Can I see you? Oh my. They gave you five years visa. Somebody say I connect. I connect. Hey. Hey. To anyone here that is trusting God for US visa. Oh, yes. Canadian visa. Mm -hmm. 
Australian visa, yes. American visa. By the reason of this testimony, mm. I declare, may your doors be open. I receive. I said, may your doors be open. I receive. I said, may your doors be open. I receive. So even your sons were also given the visa. Yes. Now, when do you want to travel? Do you know when? Or you're thinking about it? We are thinking about hey, it. Hey. Somebody say, I connect. I connect. This can only be God. And let me tell you, the best part of your life is not ahead, is not behind you. It is ahead of you. The Lord will take you higher and further. I see there are new doors that God is opening for you. New connections, new relationships, new opportunities. Oh, Shalaba. You know, new success cannot be built on old foundation. There is a new thing that God is about to do in your life. And I decree and declare the blessing of God upon your life. And the door that God has opened, no man can shut. Any adversary against your open doors, that adversary is destroyed in the name of Jesus. And anybody that has your blessing, as she was called for her visa this week may people call you for your money i receive it anything that has been held up and has been tied up oh yes i say there will be a release in the name of jesus amen i bless your life i declare go and excel go and succeed go and prosper in jesus name it is done and for anybody here that is trusting God for a door in UK, US, I want you to just touch this altar with a seed. Whichever seed, before I share the word, just hold a seed. You're trusting God for these four countries. I just felt an anointing. Canada, any country in Europe, UK, uh, Australia, I just saw doors open. America, just come and connect. The grace I carry over nations, I release it upon your life. Whatever seed you have, if it's on M-Pesa, can we have the number on screen? And even somebody that is watching me, the Lord is telling me to challenge you to give a seed. Mariam, can you get ready? As people are giving the seed, I want a number. Listen to me, Shalaba. I want faithful God because God is too faithful to fail. Hallelujah. Listen to me. To those that are watching us, there is a grace of a permanent residence. There there is a grace of a permanent residence. Citizenship. There is a grace for permanent residence. Citizenship. Green card. There is an anointing. I want you to give a seed. A seed. Something that touches you and moves you. I want you to give that seed. I want you. You can give it on PayPal. You can give it on World Remit. You can give on, uh, uh, on World Remit. On Simba Pay. On Wave. I want you to touch the altar. Faithful God, that is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. Faithful God, that is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. You were my joy, you were my peace, you were my strength, Lord, you're a faithful God. Oh, 